Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood Martian Manhunter here and welcome back. If you guys didn't like look at my last video, you guys should watch it. Pretty pretty long, like 15 minutes. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about the Splash of Titan event. Look at this armor, it has 8,678 attack and 7,447 defense. I wonder if this is the plus version or not, if you can even get a plus version. I wonder. Uh, so we have the event calendar right here. You can see login event. Yeah, we're just gonna read this. As mentioned in the last days in the producer letter, I read the producer letter in my last video, so if you guys want to check that out, then feel free to. We prepare another special event for July for all of you. You know what that means. A new one-time only armor for your, for you to fight for. Splash of the Titans is an event that will allow you to obtain a special armor with basic stats and tier it up by combining it with other armors to make it stronger. Much stronger. It's a concept you've seen before, with exceptional, with the exception that this time around there won't be community milestones, which means your individual efforts would define the final strength of that armor. So yeah, no community milestones. We have to do this on our own. So, it's. I think it'll be like the. Um, I think the leprechaun armor. I think it's the leprechaun armor. That armor was pretty strong. It was on fire and earth. I still have it. I think I use it for one of my knights. But yeah, it's a fire armor, it's strong. It's like, the stats are good. I think we had to do that one on our, on our own. There was no community milestone. Like there was a regular version and a plus version. I wonder if that's how this one will go. Additionally, it will be divided into two phases. The first phase will allow you to increase your special armor strength. While the second will allow you to craft some special fusion boost armors. But let's take a look at the details. How does it work? Phase one. Phase one will last two weeks starting on July the 10th. So we have two weeks to get this armor. This is gonna be like all the other events like Christmas events, uh, Halloween events, stuff like that. We had like two weeks, I'm pretty sure. I forget how much weeks we had for the Decatron armor. I think it was just one week for that one. Don't remember the le Leprechaun one either. Okay. You can obtain the base armor of Aqua Guru T1 water fire and the first day of the new login chain reward starting on Tuesday July 10th that's tomorrow so yeah you can use the sh shallow edge armor to tier the aqua up to aqua Guru T5 so you have to like you have to use the um, shadow edge shallow edge armor you have to use it to like tier all the way up to tier 5 so you need to like Make it to tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier five. It's not like skipping from T1 to T5 with just that one armor. You have to like do the steps. Shallow Edge can be crafted with Titan Fractions. Titan Fractions will be available as a red drop in event rewards through the login events in chest and in starter pack offers. So, yeah, this is the rare drop thing in event rewards and yeah. You can use the deep edge armor to tier Aqua Geru T5 up to T10. Oh, so they're doing it different now. So this deep edge armor will tier it from T5 to T6 to T7 to T8 to T9 to T10. That's how we'll get that. Deep edge can be crafted with crack with Kraken Furies. Kraken Furies will be available as event rewards through the login event in chest and starter pack. So this one you can't get from rare boss spawns. Like if you want to like tear it up to like the final stage, you have to like participate in events. Like you have to get on daily if you want it from the login event. In chest, like if you manage not to get enough, like if your knights aren't like strong enough and stuff for like raid and all that, you can get it from chest. To tear up Aqua Giru, you will have to combine it with the shallow edge armor until T5 and with the deep edge from T6 to T10. So yeah, that's how it works. The Aqua Guru will have maximum of 8,678 attack and 7,447 defense. 
the jewelry for aqua armor will be available by crafting for another thousand ta um, titan fractions. Oh, so you have to craft the ring and amulets, the jewelry. I get it. That's that's what they said in the producer letter. Like they wanted us to like start crafting like the ring and amulets to make it more like fun, I guess, something like that. So yeah, I wonder if it's if we can make it plus or not. These stats are like so insane for a free armor. Well, uh, armor that you have to put a lot of time into. So this is how the armor looks. Definitely using this as my thumbnail. So this is kind of like Xin and Yao. I think that's what it's called. Xin and Yao. Those armors. I forgot which event like we use these armors for, but yeah they just changed the names of them but they look exactly the same so yeah we have to use those take that up to tier 5 then yeah use the other armor to make it all the way to tier 10 i'm not gonna lie this armor looks pretty awesome looks like a halloween armor or something like that looks like an assassin with the hoodie Phase 2. Phase 2 will last one week starting on July the 24th. During Phase 2, you can collect shards to craft Super Fusion Boost Armors. This special Fusion Boost Armor will give you 10,000 Fusion Experience. That's more than 4 times than the Fusion Boost for Armors. Wow, that's awesome. More than 4 times. It's therefore hard to obtain. There will be... One of each available, for one, one of each available for each element. Meaning you need to choose wisely which fusion boost you want. So of course you're gonna get like either fire or water if you want to enhance your armor, or other armors for later on. You can craft it with the Ocula relic that can be obtained in rare spawn from the 24th, and in Guild War on the 27th. That's awesome. So we get new like fusion boost pretty cool they also mentioned that in the producer's letter login rewards as mentioned before there will be a new login reward beginning with this event lasting 14 days available for 21 days so in case you guys miss like a few days you have like seven extra days if you want like everything from the like you can miss seven days and get everything here as long as you're on for like 14 days of the 21 days okay so first day one which is tomorrow we get the aqua Giru t1 we only get one of those and then titan's fractions we get 300 of those and we get for day three and four we get some fusion boost for day five we get heart strings that's pretty old i'm pretty sure that's the water the water um it, wait it's either the water or the air um Air Shatter Forges, Heart Stream. Then we get Day 6, we get Fusion Boost Rings, two of those. Kraken Fury, we get some material for those. We get another armor, Akogero T1. So you can get two, you can get two. But I wonder if they're going to do like a plus and non plus version. You guys know I'm going for two already. You guys should know this. <laughs> fusion Boost Pet Earth. Oh, we get a Fusion Boost Boost Pet, finally. Finally, Titan Traction, we get 400 of those. Ocula Relic, we get 200. Then Kraken Free, we get 300 of those. Then this right here is the calendar login event. So that's going to be for from July 10 to July 30. That's 20 days, <laughs> the login event. Yeah, that's 20 days. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be like half and half, like... I'm pretty sure they said that. Wait. Oh, wait, never mind. We have two different responses. That's why. Oh, I read it wrong. The login event is for that long. It's from July 10th to July 30th. The rare spawn event is July 10th to the 22nd. So that's like two weeks. And then we have the weekend events we have two weekend events we have one on the 13th with that's in a few days to the 16th then we have one in july 20th through 22nd 
I wonder what they'll do for raid. I'm pretty sure that these are raid in war, the weekend events. I'm pretty sure. Then we have July 11 through July 18. That's for epic boss. So we have two epic bosses that'll be helping us get these armors. And then we have player versus player. We have one from so we're only doing one um, player versus player events that's going to help us. And then lastly, we have ultimate fusion boost rare spawn. Is that a cape or is that like the material? And then we're going to get like a chance to get in the war. Who doesn't like to celebrate summer by wearing a super heavy armor and jump into battle? We hope you are excited as we take part in the Splash of Titans. Let us know what you think. Battle on the deck of knights. Let's see if there's anything in the. Let's see if there's anything in this. What's that? Nope, that's not it. Keep scrolling. Yeah, this is how one of the armors are gonna look. Like one of the armors you need to like combine it to get it a higher tier. That's how one of them are gonna look. Let's see. I don't think they're here yet. They're probably gonna show up tomorrow. So yeah, the probably the armor probably isn't in the armor smith. Yeah, then we'll look at tier. But yeah, this is the leprechaun armor right here that I was speaking about earlier. Right here. This one is pretty good. I wish they'd had the... Like, for us to have a chance to level that up. I meant to, like, make that stronger. This is how the stats look. The health is decent. The attack is definitely good. The defense needs to be better. That's it. But I haven't really maxed mine. Wow, it has 700 extra defense and attack. Oh, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What was I talking about? Pretty good. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like, leave a like, make sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, peace. Have a nice day.